announcements being made, lots of money being promised as well by various political parties and uh, um, the popularity of uh, Nick Xenophon and SA Best uh, certainly seems to have diminished quite considerably but we'll find out if that's actually the case. could be that you know people are responding to the, the questions asked by uh, telling the, uh, the advertiser and other news polls about uh, the uh, you know giving them the opposite of what it is they intend to do so it could be a surprise to all what exactly happens next Saturday when it comes to the, the state election. Marika Ryan is the independent candidate for the seat of Hartley so she's up against Nick Xenophon Grace Potolesi and uh, of course the incumbent Vincent Tazia but uh, Marika how are you tonight all right? Hello, Andrew, and good evening to all your listeners. Yes, I'm absolutely pumped. Yeah, absolutely and pumped. You're pretty excited, are you? Feeling confident? <laughs> I'd like to think I am feeling confident, yes. Yeah. But I'm going to reserve any kind of decision on that score uh, on the night. But yeah. yes, it, it's pretty good out there. I'm, I'm getting some great feedback from people. Yeah. They're finding it refreshing to have somebody who actually... Um, tells it like it is, um, tells the truth, and is willing to do the hard yards to represent them, and um, no spin attached. No spin so, attached, which is nice. Hey, um, so you've been doing quite a bit of door knocking? I've been doing door knocking, I've been doing shopping centres, um, I've been speaking to community groups, um, I've been um, uh, looking to... Um, get people to volunteer, yep. that's, that's another big job when you're an independent and you don't have a party machine behind you, yep. all of the admin and everything rests on your own shoulders, so um, I've been very lucky because I've got a very supportive husband and he's my tag team yep. partner, yep. so he spent two weeks up the pole putting call flutes up for me and then uh, delivering <laughs> flyers for me in letterboxes on a moped. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> right, he'd be fit. He'd, yeah, he'd be very fit. He would be. Yep. He's, um, he's exhausted. Oh, good. I'm the one running for the for the uh, seat of Hartley and he's the yep. one who's exhausted. So, yep. And I'm pumped. So, You're you know, pumped. there you go. Beautiful. But Beautiful. You, know, you know, Andrew, I just, just have to say that um, I, I hear this catch cry from many. Uh, and in particular uh, the party, that we need real change in this election. Well, the only way we're going to get real change is if we do something different. We all know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Well, in this case, people need to really, really think about who they're voting for. Dig into their um, past, what they're doing in the community, um, what... Uh, ideas they have and, and who they are as people. Um, it's important to know the background of people and what they're capable of doing. And um, I've only ever asked my supporters, uh, and I'm getting a growing number of those, um, to look at what I've done. And 10 years on council, working closely with the community at grassroots level, I understand what the seat of Hartley needs. And the people in Hartley are the ones that I love and the ones that I've represented for 10 years. And four of those years as deputy mayor, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, as I'm speaking to people, uh, the word on the street is that it's going to be a four-horse race. And election day results will catch some by surprise. Well, so there you have it. Well, it'd be very interesting to see. It'll be very interesting to see how the, the day pans out. And I wish you well. Uh, Marika, I'm, I'm sure you do very well because you are a known quantity in, in the seat of Hartley. You, you know, you do and, and I think that's important. When it comes to being uh, on the local council as well as being the deputy mayor and all the work that you've done over the years, I think that'll hold you in good stead. There's no doubt about that. I hope so. And just, I just want to say thank you to all of those who have decided to support me thus far. Um, I'm always going to be there for them. I care about them deeply. And I'm definitely the best person to represent them. But as an independent, of course, I do need some help. Uh, I don't have armies of people behind me. I've got numerous, numerous volunteers who are who said that they will help. Right. Um, so I need more. And if it's possible at all, if you can direct um, your listeners to my uh, page. Oh, hang on. Sorry, challenging. 
Say that again, sorry. If you can direct your listeners to my page, yep. Marika Ryan, Independent Candidate for Hartley, um, and give me a private message uh, from that page to let me know if you can help. So if any of your listeners are in Hartley, that would be fantastic. What do they need to do is pay, uh, to be a volunteer on this, the booth on the day? Sorry? What, what, what do they need to do in order to volunteer well, it's, it's, it's not a lot. It's not a lot of work that they need to do. I'm basically looking uh, for people to, um, just for a couple of hours in the day, to hand out some how to vote cards. And um, it's important um, to have those people there because all the major parties uh, will have their scores of, of uh, people trusting how to vote cards and everybody can. And we all know that we like to think that people have already made up their mind when they get the polls, but some haven't. No. So some, some just need to have a look and say, yes, that's the person I want. And the How to Vote card just directs them um, how they should place their uh, preferences in the boxes. Well, for me, I've made it very simple. I've just got a number one in my box and leaving it up to the public to make up their mind how they um, preference the rest of the people. I've made no deals behind the scenes, yep. no secret handshakes, and if I'm elected, there'll be nobody that I'll be owing other than the public who support me. Has uh, anybody had uh, words with you about preferences at, at all? Has anybody approached yeah. you? Yeah, well, they've asked. They've asked. Yeah. But, um, have they all approached major you? Major parties haven't, um, probably don't consider me enough of a threat, mm -hmm. to be honest. And that may be their undoing, I don't know, but um, in any case, um, I have made it quite clear from the beginning when I announced on your program, actually, I announced that, that I was going to run, and that I, and, uh, I remember Michael Atkinson coming on and asking me where my preferences are going to go, yeah. and I specifically said at that time that I've made no deal, I will not be having any preferences, and I do credit the general public with a, a good deal of intelligence, and they can make up their own mind. I don't think people like to be told how to vote. They're not sheep. They're intelligent people out there. Yeah. And I'm appealing to those people that if you feel that I, that, that I can best represent you, and I believe I can, then put one in my box and number the rest how you see fit. Yeah, uh, I, I uh, don't like the, the, the fact that the other political parties and individuals and all the rest of it, when they're going to vote, they... they have a out of vote card. It really, I find it a little bit insulting to my intelligence to think that I can't make up my own mind, and I'm just going to fill out the uh, the numbers according to what they want, and because that's not what it's all about, as far as I'm concerned. It's about what I want. Well, that's exactly right, Andrew. And, and the thing is that what people don't understand is that those preferences are usually made with deal behind the scenes. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. Never, never just out of the blue. Hang on, you're still going. Are, but they're considering that that might be the best option for the state. Has um, it, yeah, so it's fixed. Because somebody's got something for some, something else. Yeah. And you have no idea what that is. They made those deals in secret behind the scenes. Don't put it down. And uh -huh. that, I think that, that's not right. And I think people should be able to make up their own mind, and I think they will. I, I think you're right, and I, I wish you well next Saturday. I really do, Marika, um, and I uh, hope you, you do very well. Thank you so much, Andrew. It'll be, it'll and, be, um, interesting. It'll be interesting to see you in, in Parliament, that's for sure. <laughs> you're wonderful. not the only one who has said that. I tell you what, um, it's time for change, and we've got to do something different to make that change happen. So there you have it. Good luck, Maria. Maria, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Thank sorry. you so much, Andrew. Bye-bye. And good night to all your listeners. Thanks very much, Marika Ryan, the independent candidate for the seat of Hartley. 18 minutes to 11.30.95 at late 5 AA. I, I like Marika, I really do. She is, a, uh, to me, as far as I'm concerned, a breath of fresh air. She has um, a, a lot of a lot of vitality and enthusiasm and everything she puts her, her mind to, she does it. 100% or 110% if that's possible. She um, yeah, takes no prisoners. So it'd be great. It would be great to see somebody along the lines of Marika Ryan in Parliament giving it to whoever, whoever is uh, you know, holding the, the, the power when it comes to Parliament after the uh, 17th of March. Now, Alex. Hello, Alex. Alex says...